Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my craft room. It is a lunch break with Rhonda time and I just got a, some fun projects to share with you today. It is, this is what I am calling festive week um, and we are focusing on all things festive. Holiday, Christmas festive. Obviously when you are here, please say hi. Let me know that you are here and we're excited to jump in and get started. So last week we wrapped up five weeks of Christmas classes and you can go back and watch them. They're in the video section, they are recorded. I have them here on YouTube and they are each week. We did four adorable, if I say so myself, projects that you can copy. Um, this week we are kind of taking a little bit of a break, a lunch break, right? And I'm just gonna show you four adorable projects using a lot of my favorite product right now. And as I was doing it, as I was coming up with the projects for this week, I realized they all have the word festive in it. Okay, so I didn't plan that. Uh, that was like a coincidence. And so then on Monday, when I was, again, kind of planning ahead, I planned ahead for you guys a little bit, I was like, okay, it's all festive. Like, we're gonna have a festive week. So um, we're gonna jump in. I've got four projects to share with you. Uh, in today, we're gonna hopefully not take too long and then but I really want to talk to you about some things we have coming up to So one of my uh, two big things two major things well might even be more um, Today Stampin' Up! announced a sale. It's only for three days. It's a it's a good basic foundation sale so those of you who are crafters it's paper and we all love paper because we're paper crafters and it's all of our cardstock is 10% off. Um, I know that isn't, I mean 10%, uh, but 10% is 10%. So for me, it's a good time to stock up on cardstock instead of paying full price for it. So, and of course, if you're a demonstrator, we get our 25% discount plus our 10% discount. So we get a lot off of cardstock. Um, all of the, from the annual catalog, which I don't think I have one around me, um, all of our designer series paper is also 20% off. So it's only $10 versus $12.50. Again, there's some beautiful papers. I absolutely love the country wood. I use it all the time, a lot. I just used it in our Shepherd's Care, so it's great for holiday cards. Um, there is the Citrus Blooms. I love that one. Um, there's so many beautiful things. Hello, Sen. Aww. My Be Created Pink Sweatshirt. So this is actually still available um, in the Be Creative store. The, it, the link is actually in this description because I do, I wear this. It's one, of those, it's one of those sweatshirts or clothes that like I wear it and then I get dirty and I throw it in the, in the, the, the laundry. And then as soon as it's clean, I, it doesn't even make it to my dresser. I wear it again. So I wear it at least once a week. So anyway, um, yeah, so there is our sale going on. And then also our bundles from the annual catalog. All bundle, bundles are 20% off. So they're always 10% discount, and now we get an additional 10%. So it's a great time. Um, foundational things. Uh, stay tuned to my email list because I do have a really amazing ordering special that I'll be announcing tonight. Um, and it's just if you love like mystery boxes, maybe a mystery Christmas present uh, for an order. So stay tuned for that. Uh, right now we're going to jump into getting crafty, some creativity. Uh, we're going to be talking about card club today. And then I have two, uh, one major thing that ends, um, what's today, the 13th, on the 16th. So three days left. Um, for the first time ever, I'm doing a 12 days of Christmas. I'll be doing 12 videos in a row, 12 days, every day. I hope you don't get sick of me. Oof, I hope you love it and have fun together. They're, they're just one project a day, but they're projects. They're not just simple cards. They're actually projects. They're like stocking stuffers, gift giving, gift card holders, little packaging, lots of adorableness. Um, 12 projects, that would be a lot for one person to come up on their own and then do all the work behind it. So I partnered with five other of my really good friends, talented stampers, and so we have 12 projects and we each designed two of them. So I'm gonna be making like Julie Salva's projects, Melissa Faust, Deborah Harrison, Deb Smeek, and Ange McKay. Those are five of my very good friends. I have tons of, I love my, our 
I love our community of demonstrators that we form together. So that will start November 25th. So, but um, for the first time ever, I've never done this before. I'm really excited. And a lot of you, we've already sold over 40 um, uh, packages. So you're going to get a package ahead of time, which I will try. We're going to ship them out a week ahead of time um, and to hopefully get to you before the 25th. And um, it'll have all the card stock you need. It'll have all the designer series paper, ribbon, and two ribbons, two embellishments, two different kinds of paper, and 24 sheets of card stock um, that you will use to create your projects. And then you, we're only using two, two products that you can own or you can substitute with something that you have. So the whole point of it is to actually craft along with us. So when you purchase the package, you will also get all 12 tutorials ahead of time. So we'll give them to you like the week before. So if you want to like cut your cardstock and get ready, you can, or you'll have pictures with step-by-step -step instructions. Plus you'll have our video. It's really gonna be able to get you to really be creative and make the things that we're showing you. We wanna put the creativity in your hands. We wanna see you make it. Um, and when you have the video and you have step-by-step -step instructions and you have pictures, you will be super successful along with us. So again, in this description is the link to order the 12 Days of Christmas package. Um, if you are watching this on a replay and you miss it, um, then you can still watch along. The videos will be free, um, but we will still sell the tutorials afterwards too. And if you are on Creative Corner, they will be there. And I talked to Ryan and uh, we're gonna make sure that the tutorials are posted either the day before or the day of um, on Creative Corner too. So you can work along with this as well. So, all right, are you ready to jump in and get started? I think I've chatted with you long enough. Again, let me know that you're here. I love crafting with my friends for a little lunch break. And we are going to make four very festive projects today. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over to my hands. And our very first project is going to be using the Festive Words stamp set. Uh, this is one of the stamp sets that we're using in our 12 days of Christmas as well. And I've been using it a lot. Again, I, I really try and I, and I, I, one thing I hope you guys can know, you can always trust me. Like I'm never going to use product that I really don't love. And I want to give you so many ways to use it. Um, my goal isn't always just to make you order more, order more, order more. I want it, you to really use what you're ordering. So I've been using this for a few weeks and I'll be using it for the next two weeks as well. So this is a good one for you to purchase if you haven't purchased it yet. So festive words. Um, um, I have a piece of real red cardstock here, four and a quarter by eight and a half. So this is a fun card because it's just a little bit different. It is a, it's a square card, so it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, and let me tell you what I'm using here. So um, we're gonna be, by the way, today is all quick and simple projects. Shocker, right? That's what I love. And hopefully that is what you come to me for, right? So hello everybody. Um, hi Judy, it's good to, I'm glad you're joining. We just got started so you didn't miss anything. Um, all right, card club members, um, you are gonna be getting the little bit of festive. So I wanna use it today so my card club members can see a huge value in this. And you're gonna, it's been unorderable. The minute it came back in stock, I knew I was gonna get it for my card club members. So you're going to be getting the a little bit of festive um, and that's what we're gonna be using on this. So this is where that paper came from. I love the candy cane stripe. Uh, it's my favorite. You only get one sheet of each and then you get the um, three sheets of die cuts on there too. So this is awesome for scrapbooking, but also, hey, we're going to be doing some really awesome and cute card making too. So once we do that, um, again, one of my favorite ribbons that I use a lot and you guys uh, come to expect it out of me is our black um, and vanilla ribbon, but I use it with white. At first I was really worried, like it's not ever gonna, I don't use a lot of vanilla, um, but it doesn't matter. It goes really well with white too. I'm gonna put my sleeves up, they're getting in my way. All right, let's go ahead and tie this bow off of here. It is a fun paper pack. And it's one that like, so for instance, some of my really good, uh-oh, 
this we knew was going to happen. Ryan and I were, I'm just going to keep talking. Um, the blurriness, uh, Ryan says I needed to do the update, and I will do the update as soon as I'm done, but the blurriness will go away. Um, I'm just going to keep talking because I know you can still hear me, and so it may come and go. It just be patient. You'll, I was just tying a bow anyway. You don't need to make, you don't need to watch me tie a bow. You guys can all see that. So uh, we're going to do the update. It's, the update was just a long update, and so um, we're doing it as soon as this video is done. We're going to do the update. Uh, but I know I'm just going to keep talking and keep going and don't worry. It's just um, so you'll just miss a little bit on the blurriness if that happens. We were we were afraid of that, but didn't think about it until too late. <laughs> so anyway, um, I know, I know it's going to be okay. We're going to, it'll, it, hopefully it won't happen as much. All right, so then we're going to take, I have a large stylus shaped circle and I'm using the hat. I haven't used the hat yet in a project here on a video anyway. And then we're stamping that with our um, black memento. And we're gonna black hat. Oh, I gotta get a little closer. I know I'm out of screen a little bit, but if I don't look where I'm going, I'm gonna stamp off there. Okay, so I stamped that. And um, I love the black because the Noel will really pop out. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add um, we're going to use just our smoky slate, and then this is our, I think that's our old olive. So I'm going to start with a dark smoky slate, and that's going to be most of the hat. So the hat isn't going to really be a black hat, it's going to be a uh, dark gray hat. I'm just going to add in some of the darker um, to the edges. So we're just going to put that in there, kind of. This is the magic of blends because it can take us novice colors and make us like we're pretty good. And then I'm just gonna take the lighter one. Let's use the other tip. What stamp set? Hey Annie, this is the festive word. So this is the one that we're also featuring in our 12 days of Christmas. So yep, you're gonna want this one. And I also don't feel like we've ever had anything quite like it. So it's a, it's, it's a really awesome set. I super, super, super like it. All right, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna also, I need my red. I didn't realize that there's a little red strip on there. Let me grab my red, and I'm just gonna put, um, let's take the deeper red, and we're just gonna put like the candy cane stripe on there. That kind of goes with the candy cane paper I picked. There you go. And you could, we're covering these up, but just in case any of it pops out, we'll put some red there. Um, and then we're gonna take, again, take the darker, your darker blends first. So I'm just gonna go through on that line there and put that in. Go with our lighter one and add that in. So the blends, does anybody own all the blends? Do you guys own all of them? Because guess what? Those are also 10% off. So if there are any blends, because all the ink is 10% too. So if you don't own any of the colors of blends, now is the time to get them. All right, so that's gonna go right on here. And again, sweet, simple card. I know the lighting is, can you see how cute that is? We're gonna grab our dimensionals and put a few of those on there. Yeah, so uh, tonight I am announcing an ordering special for all of my customers. Um, again, taking advantage of, um, Jennifer has everyone. I, okay, so there, again, I have all of them too um, at my other Lanesburg studio, um, but some of them are dried out. So I, I went through, I'm going through the ones, um, the ones here are all brand new, so they're okay. But the ones in my um, Lanesburg studio, I need to replace some of them. So also, so keep, you know, again, the, the inks are also 10% off, but they're the blends they put in on that as well. So you wanna stock up on those while you can. All right, I'm taking these peppermint goodies. Again, card club members, uh, the day these came back in stock, and because you guys all put your, you know, you it's a recurring subscription, so I already collected your money, I was able to get you these for card club. So you're gonna be getting um, these as well. I'm not, I haven't, I'm not showing you the card club cards yet. There is one of them that you'll see today, but there you go. So here is, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, I had this little strip left over when I got, you know, was cutting some of the paper. So let's go ahead and glue 
decorate the inside. So a four by four card still fits right in our regular envelope. Sometimes just changing the, um, you know, just change the shape of something. It just makes it so fun. So there you go. There's our inside. How cute is that? And you could do any of the images from the festive words. See, it'll come back. Um, but I haven't used the hat yet, so I wanted to use the hat, but you could use any of them. All right, along that same line, let me show you another, another option. Okay, so we're going to, so that first piece was four and a quarter by eight and a half. Now this one is four and a quarter by 11. Um, and I, you're going to take your, your paper trimmer and you're going to score this at four and a quarter, which I did, four and a quarter, and then score it at eight and a half. And then you're left over with this little flap right here too. So again, it's still gonna be a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card, um, but now we have this little flap that we get to play with. Thanks, Krista. She's, it is a sweet card. So when you're making Christmas cards, sometimes it doesn't need to, you know, you just gotta make them, guys. Make them and send them. And, and I also love it. Okay, so this is, this is the Honest Rhonda. Guys, I know if you're watching, um, the blurry will come and go. We're, we, we're gonna do the update too. Um, this only gives you a little place to have to write a message. Like I sometimes I do, a, I mean I do do a Christmas letter that I can tuck in here, but sometimes I just wanna give a little message. So I love this size card because then it, it makes total sense. All right, so now this one, uh, one of the things I'm featuring kind of today that I want to show you is a lot of our embossing folders. So this one here is the timber embossing folder um, and it creates this wood grain background. And so I have this on our white. So um, when I do do embossing folders, I like to go all the way around the four edges. Normally I just do like the four corners. Uh, and this is a four by four piece of the, the white, there you go, so we got that. Um, I am, one of the other things that is festive that you guys have seen me use a lot is the festive glimmer paper, and you get two sheets of each of these colors, two greens and then the red. Um, I'm gonna take the one and three quarter inch circle punch and let's do this color green, um, the, the, light, the lighter green. You could, they're all awesome. You'll use all of it. I think I've used this almost in every class that we've done lately. Um, and then I'm also going to, there you go. I'm just gonna keep talking. It'll come back, it will come back into focus here just a second. Um, then I'm gonna go to our festive, our festive paper, uh, to that paper pack, along with the, the die cuts. So uh, there are, hundreds of uses, so many awesome ones, it's hard to choose. Um, you'll get to, but there's only one of each. So those of you who already have it and you're a card club member, you're gonna wanna get another pack anyway, cause that way you can you know, go back and have doubles of things and make more cards. So uh, this one, I'm taking the sleigh that's in there. Um, and the sleigh has this really beautiful gold on it too. So we're gonna use the sleigh. We're gonna put the little green glitzy on there so you can I want you so you can see how pretty that is. And it matches almost perfectly those trees. So while it's blurry, I'm gonna glue down. Oh, see that one didn't stay very long. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, we're gonna glue that down there, and then we're going to put the sleigh on with dimensionals. Some the embossing folders, the three I'm using are all in stock. Uh, one of them was out of stock for a while. Now the bundle that I'm featuring for Card Club is the Christmas Labels Bundle because it goes with everything and anything. So um, the Christmas Labels is the, these labels, which I've shown you guys before, I've used them a ton, and then these labels. So these go great with the festive, the a little bit of festive paper pack because then you need you need words. So I ran through this label so you guys can see it. I also, guys, I wanted to show you this. It makes this label, which is super awesome, but I can't run through thousands or hundreds of these because they're pretty detailed. But that's one of the labels that it makes too. Um, but this is the one we're going to use today. And 
the Christmas labels look, if you, if you don't believe me that I've used it, you can tell because I've used it a lot. It has three different sayings that fit perfectly on here. There is Merry Christmas to you, celebrate the holidays in all the ways, and the it's a hot cocoa day. So I'm going to use the holiday one um, out of here. Oh, there we go. And we're going to put that on our block. And I need a real red stamp pad, which I'm going to grab really quick. There's a couple things I can tell that I need to grab. A real red stamp pad. Come on, over here. I need to grab a blueberry bushel piece of cardstock. All right. So we're going to take our real red stamp pad and this should line up perfectly. It's just the way that it's made is that it lines up perfectly in the spots. Yep, see? I didn't even have to like line that up. It just does it all on its own. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna close my stamp pad so I don't get red ink. Red ink, getting red ink on your hands is the worst because then you feel like you're bleeding the whole, the whole rest of the, the day. All right, while it's blurry, I'm just gonna glue this down. You guys all know how to glue down. And then when it comes back to being, you're gonna be like, whoa, there it is all put together. So then I'm gonna put this on here too. There you go. See, we'll be back here. There you go. Um, and then I'm gonna put the Celebrate the Hallies. This actually needs to go up just a little bit. I need another. I love it. Dimensionals you can just roll off. I mean, they're very, very permanent, but they also kind of just roll off too with what you wanna do with them. There you go. It just needs to go up and over here a little bit. And then this can go right down here. And this needs to go up a little bit too. There you go. So I'm gonna glue this down. And that way you get a little bit of all of it. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is one of our brand new products. See, isn't it pretty? One of our brand new products just came out. Oh, I love it, is this gold, um, this gold threaded ribbon, a twine. And I'm gonna take a double bow and I'm gonna tie that double bow, which I actually think I had one somewhere, but um, Maybe it's in my magic cup. I should probably check there. So I'm just going to do a little, little double bow with it. This is brand new. just came out. It's one of our online exclusive products that you can stop in a catalog anywhere. And then that is going to get put down to the front of our card. All right. So let's grab a mini glue dot. And we're just going to put that down here at the front of our card. There you go. So here's our front. It's definitely a little glitzy. Um, we're gonna add. We're gonna add some of our little peppermint. These these have cannot stay in stock. They are just so cute, and they're like little rubber peppermints. But look at that now. How it just. Ooh, I love it so much. Um, then now this one again is remember with a slightly different measurement because then what I'm gonna take is over here. I have two more pieces of paper. This is just a four by four piece of white. We're gonna take that and glue this here to the, that middle panel. And then on this flap here, we are going to glue down um, a piece of, I think it was two inches, two, two by four. So you can get a lot of these out. And this is using the festive paper. This is a little bit festive. So I'm gonna glue that down to here. And then I have um, that same one and three quarter inch punch. And you're just gonna kind of do like a little half punch. I'm doing right down just to where that I see that paper. I'm punching that. Putting a little bit of glue down the edges. And then now I have a gift card holder too. So you could tuck a gift card, money, any sort of little gift that you want to. Um, so this is just shows a little bit of the flexibility of making these four and a quarter by four and a quarter cards. They are sweet. They are simple. Oh God, let's get this out of the way. These are the two that we've made so far. Which, what do you see? They're both so cute. 
This one, oh, I got the little dots there with our little peppermint dots. And then this one is a, a gift card holder. All right, you love it. Thank you, Gold Twisted Thread. All right, um, the Gold Twisted Thread is also coming in Card Club too, just so you know, but you're gonna need lots of it because you're gonna go through it. You're gonna go through a lot of it. All right, project number three. Um, I have two more projects to share with you. So we're talking about a little bit of festive. I really wanted to highlight the festive tags kit out of the catalog. It's only $13 if you buy it. Um, we do have them in our studio, and our studio is open every Saturday. There's one, I mean, obviously we're not going to be open the week of Christmas, and then, um, or Thanksgiving. Uh, we'll be with our family doing family things, and Erica needs to be with us. I, we share her, but I don't want to share her all the time. So, um, but Erica's in the studio. There's definitely some, some Saturdays I'll be there. As a matter of fact, December 7th, we're going to do a cookies um, we're going to have a cookie maker come in, and then you can pick cards or tags. The cookies are going to be very similar to these tags. So cute. Anyway, um, this was one of the tag classes that I did last year. And as you can tell, these tags are adorable. Um, and for only $13, they are, oh, here we go. Now the blurry is bad right now. They are a steal. So I'm going to bring them out here so you guys can see them as soon as the blurriness is gone. Um, there is five, one, two, three, four, five different designs. One of the designs I don't have because it's already gone. Um, but what I, oh, it's this one. Here's the fifth one. I have one left. So they are fun, they dangle, they come with everything, they come with the dots, and you get to make three of each of them for only $13. So this was one of the, um, products that I featured this week if you're on my email list because again it's there's not in the catalog you just have to you just have to buy it online when you place your order or come to the studio and then you can um, you can make them there all right so those are the tags and what I want to do now is um, take the four and a quarter I'm going to leave this one out four and a quarter by 11 and we're going to fold that in half um, and because, yes, these are tags, but I was, they're so cute. I mean, they, I'm gonna show you how we can also make them into um, cards. So then, uh, real simple cards. So you, out of this, out of this for $13, you're going to get 15 of these tags, right? So 15, you could, you could make 15 cards out of them too. Again, complete with ribbon, dots, words, the, all the, the tags, all of it. So I had the four and a quarter by 11. I took another one of our embossing folders. This one is the Snowflake Sky. Uh, definitely a must have if you don't have it. It's definitely, this one needs to go on your wish list. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so all I'm gonna do is simply, I, I create the tag. So you can make all your tags, use them as a tag if you want to, or why not glue them down to a front and like they're kind of interactive because they dangle and they are, they're so pretty. Um, I'm going to take my dimensionals. I haven't lost them yet today. How many times do I, I, thank you, bless you. Yeah, I had a sneeze that came out of nowhere. I was super sick last week. Um, on our live last week, the last 10 minutes, if I was a little spacey. It's because literally I thought I was going to throw up during the video. I was so sick. And then afterwards, I had to cancel. I didn't go to my team meeting. I was in bed. I was so nauseous. I don't know what it was last week, but I got really sick after our video. Um, I feel much better today. Much, much, much better. So I just take that, and then we're going to glue this down to our card front. And that quick... That simple, do you not have the most adorable little card? And you wanna do that, you can easily do that. Here's this one, right? Look how cute that one is, right? And it doesn't even take you like any time at all. It might take you 30 minutes and you can have 15 cards that are actually stinking cute that you send out. So anyway, you can do that with all of the tags. Like this one has a little bit of the pink in it. Um, this one has would be it would this one would obviously go the other direction, um, but there's the Merry Christmas, and then there's one more there again. Oh, this one is really I love this one with a pop of the pink 
and then the red. Again, so you could imagine that in that place that it would be an adorable card too. So there you go. That is quick and simple card number three, and this is the festive tags. All right, uh, that one, you're like, whoa, Ron, that was so fast. I know, now we're already on card number four. Here we go. This one, um, we're going, I'm obviously using a lot of the products that we are using in Card Club. Um, Card Club members, I love you. Thank you. I see Michelle and Jennifer and Annie and who else is on here that's a Card Club member. Um, every week or every month you guys get a package from me and it has the supplies to make eight cards. Um, same thing this month, you'll make, we make eight cards and the cost of it is only $39.50. That includes the shipping. Every, and so far you can tell, I'm already telling you, you're going to get the, the you, you're going to get the thread, you get, you're going to get the dots, you're going to get the, the a little bit of festive pack of paper. Um, so that's where I got this from. Um, I pulled it right out of here. And then, um, so that was a wreath. Plus you get all, I mean, you get so much. You get a, a whole sheet of this. There's another whole sheet. Um, I'm also going to send you a tutorial for those of you who are Card Club members. Oh, we went blurry. Oh, here we're back. Uh, I'm going to send you a tutorial that has a bunch of more cards. I've made a lot of cards with this. A lot. This is like my third pack. Ooh, this one, you have all these. Look how cool those are. Can you see? Um, so awesome. So anyway, um, uh, there is a link to join Card Club. Uh, you have to join by the 20th of the month. Um, after the 20th, it goes for the following month, um, and then uh, we ship them out on uh, the 25th or 26th. All right, so let's go to our card here. Um, I cut a piece of this paper already, and it was this piece I love. This is my one of my favorites. We don't have anything like it. So it's like it matches blueberry bushel, night of navy. It, um, so I cut this to four by five and a quarter, so you can get six out of this sheet. Let's, that's what I did there. And then I cut a piece of blueberry bushel. I think that's just a fun, kind of a fun Christmas color. It is a little bit of a, a fun royal blue, and it does go well with this piece too. So this was four um, by five and a quarter, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I think this is a tiny bit. I must have, it looks like a tiny bit. Let me just turn that off. All right. So this is going to get glued down to that piece. All right. This card, um, I love this layout. This is a really fun. Um, we're not going to be using the snowflake. This one, we're going to be using the birchwood embossing folder. Okay, this has been unorderable for, I don't know, a long time. I just checked. It's back available. You can get it. So the birchwood, look how cool that is. I use it a lot. Um, it, oh, I have it here. Okay, I didn't even show you. But the birchwood is one of those really big ones. So you can run like, you could do like three of these at one time. You could do full big sheets of them. Like these are our are, are other jumbo ones. These are even bigger. So they're like six by eight. Can you tell? So these are really nice. Um, those are our bigger, our bigger ones. This is our birchwood. Uh, I have a piece of basic white that is two and three quarters by 11, and you're gonna fold that in half. There you go. Oh, that slipped on me. Get that folded in half correctly. There you go. And then I took a piece of, again, our basic white, and it is two and a half by five and a quarter. So it's just slightly, and both, actually both sides are really good. I always don't, it doesn't even, I think both sides are good. And that's gonna get glued down to this front here. All right, just like that. And then this is gonna get glued down to this front of this card. This is our card front here. And this will go just right there in the middle. And it should be perfect. There. So there's our card front. And it's, again, fun, a little different. So I'm going to keep talking. 
Um, I'm taking uh, that, there's this wreath that is out of there. I'm gonna go to our dimensionals, take a couple of those. I'm gonna take one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna pull those off. So this is out of that little bit of festive. Isn't it beautiful? And I don't, it's hard to tell until I show you, but it's got these really beautiful gold dots already already in there so I'm not gonna add any other really dots to it but um, which I know shocker um, I always add dots this blue strip is also in there and this is gonna go over top of it um, I'm gonna like and this I'm gonna just glue down to right here but I need it needs to go down with a dimensional so I'm gonna take a couple dimensionals and put that down to here so you can see guys this is one of your card club cards by the way so this is a sneak peek but the cool part about it is so you're going to make eight cards for card club but they're going to all be different so you'll make eight different cards yes it'll have the same layout but you'll use different die cuts because they don't again you only get one die cut of each so you'll actually feasibly well, this card club you'll make eight different cards and we're taking the christmas labels and we're going to use this one has just some straight ones uh, there's believe to you be merry and warm and cozy. Uh, let's uh, let's do the be merry. You could do the to you, and it could be used for anything. It doesn't really need. It's kind of like just more of a, like of of a wintry card. It doesn't need to be Christmas. Hmm. Let's do the to you. Uh, where is it? It's on here. No, I'm changing my mind. We're gonna do be merry. <laughs> It's okay, we can change our mind sometimes. So let's take, uh, we're gonna take that Be Merry and we're going to stamp that on another Christmas label. So your Christmas labels, this is another one of the labels. Uh, I already showed you two of them. This is, this is uh, one of the third ones. And then this is gonna get glued down. What I love about the Christmas labels, they all have like these little slits in them. Those are really cool. They have those, and that's gonna get glued down here to the front. And then to wrap this one up, we're going to take some of that, that gold thread, gold twisted thread, and we are going to take one of those dimensionals and put the, whoops, grab it. And then this is gonna go down on our little wreath here. And you could do it at the top, I'm gonna do it at the top, do it at the bottom, voila. Look at that gorgeous card. Fun. And then what's fun about it, it looks like a regular card when you look at it, but then it actually opens up here. And then this is where you'll write your, your little message. You could obviously keep on decorating. But all right, my people, my friends, um, what do you guys think about these cards that we made today? Love the blue. Eight different cards. Yay. Um, we made some really fun cards. Oh, where I already lost my tab one. Let's go here. These are, and so quick and simple. This one was like less than like 35 minutes to make all these projects, all right? Um, do, you, do you have a favorite? You don't have to pick unless you actually really do have a favorite. Let me pull you guys up here. Hello, hello. Thanks for being with me. Even with the blurriness, we will get that handled. Uh, as soon as I told Ryan, he's like, oh, mom, I think he needs to do the update. And we were going to do it last week, but it was like a two-hour update. So uh, we will update that. Hopefully you're, you hung around with me even despite the blurriness. Um, but here are, obviously, this was card number one and the top hat with your little peppermint patties on there. And then decorate on the inside. Then we showed you another. These are uh, four and a quarter by four and a quarter cards, and they just go right in a regular envelope. You don't need a special envelope for them. This one has that timber um, embossing folder, and let me get that off of there. So, but again, this is all using that a little bit of festive. And this one is a gift card holder, so it has a place for a little gift card. <laughs> Trisha, you did pick a favorite and it wiped you out. All right, so then our third one was using our little bit of festive tags. And this one is the snowflake. Yeah, isn't that adorable? Like, and uh, this is probably my favorite, right? The little snowman, I love it. And it comes with these gold dots. I must've forgot to put the dots on that one, but it comes with these really gold dots too. 
Um, and that's that snowflake embossing folder. Let's see, there, snowflake sky. And then our last card, is this everyone's favorite? Uh, let's see. The Santa sleigh, said Pat. I, I love that one too. But see, with the a little bit of festive, you only can make one of those, but that's okay. There are, there's a, there's a, like a truck in there. There's, there's so many other things that you can use. Uh, but this one is the Be Merry. This one actually is my favorite. I love the shades of blue. The blue is really pretty. And that birch wood. So this is the, well, let's see here. I'm going to bring it up. There you go. Third time's the charm. The birch, the birch wood embossing folder. All right, guys, stay tuned. If you have not joined my email list, definitely join it. I've got a lot of things that we are, a lot of classes a lot of events, a lot of fun things, and the best place to do it is to be on my email list. I will alert you to all of that. If you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, tonight I'm doing a free training. Uh, a lot of you know this about me, but I have two very distinct parts of my business. Obviously, I'd love to create and craft with you and run my own Stampin' Up! business, but I also, for over almost 16 years, have been teaching and training um, other Stampin' Up! demonstrators to help grow their business too. And so tonight I'm having a special free training because my training is paid for. P people pay for that and uh, not my team, obviously. My team does not. I train them because they're my team. But um, outside demonstrators do. Um, but tonight I'm doing a free one that everyone can listen to. So um, you might be seeing some things about that too. Like there, obviously we do creating and crafting here too, but I also run kind of a business uh, a business portion where we teach business concepts to paper crafters and specifically Stampin' Up! demonstrators. So anyway, thanks for being here. And again, any questions, you can message us. Uh, we will read all of the comments. You can send us a direct message. Uh, we watch those and answer those. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.